Gervonta Tank Davis has been vocal about his desire for the next fight to be against Devin Haney. He's been focusing on making that matchup happen due to their long-standing history. Recently, Davis took a bold step by challenging Haney to a fight, and Haney responded to this challenge. The whole Mayweather Javante split. I mean, it don't matter if you don't want to make the big fights happen. You might as well stay with your stay with your promoter that you're with now. Mm -hmm. If you don't care to to go and try to make the big fights happen, what's the point of, of even leaving your situation? You might as well stay there and be loyal to Floyd if, if, if that's the case. It seems evident that Davis is enthusiastic about facing Haney since he agreed to discuss the fight offer. In a humorous exchange, Davis mentioned offering something back to Haney, adding a comedic element to the situation. Fans are eagerly anticipating whether a fight between Haney and Tank Davis will materialize soon. Stay tuned for the latest updates on these two fighters as we keep an eye on the developments. In the latest video, Devin Haney and Gervonta Tank Davis have been teasing fans with the possibility of a fight for quite some time. Haney has consistently displayed interest and eagerness to step into the ring with Tank. On the flip side, Tank hasn't overtly demonstrated his inclination to fight Haney until recently. However, the undefeated three-division world champion caused a stir in the boxing world by making what seemed like a non-serious fight offer to Devin Haney. This offer was a direct response to Haney's Twitter comment about offering Shakur Stevenson only 10% for a fight. Davis replied with a comment suggesting a similar offer, which has been seen as both a taunt and a strategic maneuver in their ongoing negotiations and rivalry. Davis has made it clear to anyone willing to listen that his desired next fight is against Devin Haney. This matchup is his primary focus due to their extensive history. Gervonta Tank Davis, an undefeated three-division world champion, recently shook up the boxing world by expressing his keenness to fight Devin Haney. Davis took to TikTok, captioning a post with Devin Haney 2024, signaling his intentions to square off against the former undisputed lightweight world champion. This announcement isn't just a casual call-out. It signifies a deliberate move by Davis, a prominent figure in boxing. With an impeccable record of 29 wins and no losses, Davis has conveyed his wish to fight Haney to Al Heyman, the founding advisor of premier boxing champions. This strategic move holds considerable weight, especially considering Davis's stature in the sport. Amidst the recent shifts in boxing, including Showtime's departure and PBC seeking a new network partner, Davis's announcement is strategically timed reflecting a calculated approach to his career and potential fights. The prospect of a bout between Davis and Haney isn't just another match. It's laden with history and a long-standing rivalry. Their two notable sparring sessions have fueled contrasting opinions regarding who held the upper hand. The initial session is widely believed to have favored Davis, while the outcome of the second session remains a subject of debate. This shared history adds an intriguing layer of competitiveness to the potential fight. Davis emphasized his drawing power in the sport, indicating his ability to attract crowds and support. Both fighters are tactically positioning themselves for a possible showdown. Recognizing the significance and anticipation surrounding this potential matchup in the evolving landscape of boxing, Haney, who remains the unified lightweight champion, is scheduled to face Regis Progray, the two-time WBC junior welterweight world champion before the year concludes. This upcoming bout is viewed as a preparatory step for Haney, gearing him up for potential challenges against a southpaw boxer like Davis. Similarly, Davis is anticipated to uphold his dominance in the sport, with a probable match against Isaac Pitbull Cruz slated for early 2024, serving as a build-up to the Haney fight. The clash between Davis and Haney extends beyond their athletic abilities. It's also a testament to the business savvy exhibited by both camps. Haney, managed by his father Bill Haney, has navigated his career astutely, maintaining his position as a free agent in terms of network promotions. This strategic maneuvering offers increased flexibility in negotiations for significant fights, such as the impending one against Davis. Conversely, Davis, under the guidance of Al Heyman, is making calculated moves that align with the evolving dynamics of the boxing industry. These strategic decisions ensure Davis's sustained prominence and marketability within the sport. The potential showdown between Davis and Haney is anticipated to be a massive event in the world of boxing. Blue Blood Sports TV forecasts that it might rival the viewership of Davis's bout with Ryan Garcia in terms of pay-per-view sales. Given the storyline, accomplishments, and history between Davis and Haney, this fight transcends a mere clash between two boxers in the ring. 
It represents a collision between two of the sport's brightest stars, a battle that has been brewing for years. The desire to make this significant fight happen has been evident, with Davis expressing interest in facing Haney. However, uncertainties linger regarding whether Tank will indeed face Haney in the next match, contingent upon his victory in the upcoming bout. The negotiation for a potential fight between Davis and Haney took an intriguing turn when Davis, known for his outspoken nature, responded to a comment made by Shakur Stevenson. Stevenson mentioned offering Haney a 10% split, to which Tank provocatively replied, That's what I'm offering you, son suggesting a similar 90-10th split if they were to fight. Despite the provocative statement, Haney's camp didn't take it seriously, especially given Haney's standing as a top-tier fighter. Bill Haney, Devin's father and manager, responded to Davis's offer with a counterproposal, signaling the ongoing negotiations between the two camps. He mentioned that they would contemplate a deal similar to the one Davis offered Ryan Garcia, but nothing below that threshold. This response clearly signals the Haney camp's insistence on a fair and balanced financial agreement. Bill Haney emphasized Devon's autonomy and leadership, highlighting a distinction from Davis, who operates under a promoter. This stance isn't just about seeking equitable compensation, it's also a declaration of Devon Haney's self-sufficiency and stature within the boxing realm. The negotiation concerning the fight's earnings is a multifaceted interaction involving the market values, achievements, and drawing capabilities of both fighters. It's a complex process that aims to strike a balance and reach an agreement that aligns with the respective standings and contributions of Davis and Haney in the sport. Davis, boasting an unblemished record and notable victories, has solidified his standing as a major attraction in the sport. His recent bout against Ryan Garcia, which drew substantial pay-per-view purchases and gate revenue, serves as proof of his market appeal. Conversely, Haney, as the former undisputed lightweight world champion, brings significant value to the table. His team's insistence on a deal akin to what Davis proposed to Garcia underscores their recognition of Haney's value in a potential high-stakes fight. The offer made by Davis and the subsequent response from Haney's camp shed light on the intricate dynamics inherent in boxing negotiations. While Davis's offer might appear dismissive at first glance, it's a reflection of the complexities involved in these negotiations, considering the perceived worth and market positions of both fighters. It could also be viewed as a strategic maneuver aimed at initiating negotiations and assessing the response from the opposing camp. Haney's team's counter-demand for a deal similar to Garcia's is a means to ensure that their fighter's value is acknowledged and respected throughout the negotiation process. An avid boxing enthusiast who has closely followed the Haney Davis situation recently shared thoughts on the ongoing drama between the two boxers. This individual, known as Fannin in the boxing community, offers a critical analysis of both Haney and Stevenson's fighting styles, categorizing them as less exciting compared to more aggressive and captivating fighters. This critique doesn't solely focus on their in-ring tactics, but also on their ability to draw audiences and create excitement. Fannin contrasts this assessment with Davis, acknowledged as an electrifying fighter with a formidable knockout record. This recognition positions Davis as a more marketable and appealing athlete in the eyes of numerous boxing enthusiasts, highlighting the contrasting levels of excitement generated by different fighters within the sport. Fan and boxing emphasizes the business aspect of boxing, especially within the realm of fight negotiations and earnings. The discourse surrounding Davis and Haney's potential fight earnings extends beyond their ring skills. It encompasses their capacity to attract audiences and generate revenue. Davis, possessing a more established reputation with a proven track record of high-profile victories and marketability, holds a considerable advantage in this regard. Haney's remarks about Stevenson and the subsequent exchange with Davis underscore the significance of self-promotion and one's image within the sport. Fan and boxing highlight that while Haney might perceive himself as comparable in drawing power to top fighters like Floyd Mayweather Jr., the reality may differ. This perception significantly impacts negotiations and public interest surrounding their potential matchup. Gervonta Davis responded, humorously mentioning to Devin Haney, Right back at you! This is amusing to me on multiple levels. I should be the one offering you, that's what I'll do. While the situation between Haney and Tank Davis is gaining traction, Devin Haney is gearing up for a significant fight against Regis Progre, scheduled for next month on December 9th at the Chase Center in San Francisco. Haney and Progres are set to face off, 
with Progre focused solely on securing a win. He is confident that a victory will solidify his position and finally place him on the coveted pound-for-pound -pound lists, as he expressed to the Sporting News. In a recent interview, when asked about his pound-for-pound -pound status, he confidently responded, After I defeat Devon, I am undoubtedly in the top 10 pound-for-pound. -pound. At 24, Haney has captivated much of the boxing world's attention. The former undisputed lightweight champion has achieved defining victories against formidable opponents such as George Cambosos Jr. and Vasily Lomachenko. These significant wins have solidified his place on almost every pound-for-pound -pound ranking. With an anticipated win over Progres, Haney anticipates climbing even higher on the pound-for-pound -pound lists. Progre is resolute in aiming for everything that Haney, boasting 30 wins and 15 knockouts, has achieved. He's driven to secure a world title, aiming to fulfill his ambitions when the fight takes place on December 9th, according to his plans. However, Progre is confident that he's set to achieve something much greater. I feel like this fight is me stepping into my superstardom. That's what it is. It's me getting what I deserve, he asserted. Securing a win over Regis Progre could mark a significant leap for Devin Haney, potentially paving the way for the highly anticipated bout with Tank Davis. Beyond boosting his reputation, defeating Pro Gray could notably elevate Haney's market value, granting him stronger bargaining power for future fights, including one with Davis. A victory over Pro Gray could solidify Haney's status as a top-tier fighter deserving of a fair financial arrangement. This might prompt Davis to reconsider his initial offer, potentially proposing a split that better acknowledges Haney's heightened position in the boxing world. For Haney, a bout with Davis is more than just a financial gain. It's an opportunity to compete at the highest echelon of the sport and potentially secure a defining victory for his legacy. Beating Davis, an undefeated professional, would undoubtedly cement Haney's place among boxing's elite. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video. And don't forget to check out our website, magazine, social media site, YouTube channel, and merchandise. Come join the last place in the world for real fans of The Sweet Science over at www.punchjunkie.network. We've got everything a true punch junkie needs to satisfy their boxing fix. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you.